as you guys probably know already, I take recommendations. Although I didn't expect this one anytime soon. But still, it's a pretty interesting thing. So I'm going to do it. Especially since one of my community members said they also like prehistoric animals. So this was a good recommendation all around. I'm going to be ranking them on how weird they are. I have over 20 and I did miss a couple, but hey. Anyways, just get right into it. I'm so sorry, but the Bandrigo shark is actually the most normal thing on this list. In fact, these guys are so normal, from when I first looked at them, I thought, oh, this shark is alive, and reality, they're extinct. They kind of just look like a saw and swordfish mixed together, but way more cuter. Jawless fish in general, I'm gonna be stating all three of them. I'll rank them on how weird each jawless fish is. This is the least weird, it kind of just looks like a small furry whale shark. While this may be the weirdest, I need to put this one at first. Look at its face. This deserved first in the jawless fish category. Eagle sharks look pretty normal besides their fins. They're more related to rays than actual sharks. And besides their fins, I'd consider this still in the ocean. But they just look that bit weird. You may be surprised, but sea scorpions are actually not that weird to me. Sure, the ginormous ones are very scary, but we're going off the regular ones. And to be honest, they'd just kind of be a massive shrimp. Um, no knights are pretty weird, they should be put higher. Have you ever seen a nautilus? They're basically the exact same thing, except the shell's a tiny bit less weird. Overall, not that weird, just a squid with a shell. And we still have him today, technically, just in a different species. I don't care what no one says, the Dunkleodoculus is just... Eh. It's a hard armored, kind of like whale shark like creature. Similar size and all that, and I just don't find it that weird. It is weird, but I just don't see it. Meet the Pliosaur, the Jurassic's weird sea giraffe. Look at this thing. This thing is weird as hell. It would be higher, but it's kind of like a turtle on Earth in reality, so... The Megalodon's just a massive shark, get over yourselves. And no, for the last time, it's not still alive! The Leviathan whale is a massive toothed whale. Look at this thing. This thing is not as weird, but definitely insane. Very, very insane, alright. The hell. Icorpion shark. Is definitely weird. It has the nose of a goblin shark and a swordfish combined, and has a buzzsaw mouth. It would be higher if I knew if its mouth retracted or not. I could look it up, but you know, misinformation. So yeah. You know the Amno Knight earlier? Me, it's weirder cousin, the Orphaconic. They are similar except with the cone shape. Boy, does this one make it 10 times weirder. It looks like a spike, they are absolutely ginormous, and were alive during the Ordovitican period. Like, imagine seeing this in the sea, like the same size of an orfish, Jesus. This creature has a fallout-like head with a bomb. It has a kind of like mushroom cloud on its head. In reality, it was a pretty small creature, Cephacanthus. The thing that puts it higher than a bunch of other creatures is that, instead of being used for an actual good purpose, the Stephacanthus uses its nuke-like head to mate. Are you kidding me? This thing wouldn't be higher, but just because of their size nearly being bigger than the blue whale, this is why they're so high. They kind of look like a dolphin, mixed with like kind of a dinosaur to make this monstrosity. Speaking of marine mammals, this creature is beyond weird. Look at this thing's hands and tell me they're gonna do anything. This is definitely the funniest creature ever. Funnier than a clownfish, haha. Ooh, what have we got here? A lead shikties. They are enormously big, and they may have been the biggest fish to ever exist. Also, look at them. They look extremely weird. Look at the morella. No, look at the morella. What the heck is this thing? There is nothing even similar to it. And is this thing supposed to be a shrimp? This is definitely one of the weirdest creatures. But look at this thing. No, look at this thing. Look how many arms it has and look at its head. What even was this thing? This is an ovitation worm. The Tully monster doesn't even know what it wants to be. Scientists believe it was soft-bodied, but other scientists believe it was bony-bodied. And everything in between. This thing is the most confusing thing ever, not to mention its looks. 
This thing is definitely very weird. This is a franken prawn. It looks a bit like Opabinia, something I didn't mention in this video. Except way weirder, has like 16,000 lenses, has weird flap-like things and hooks at the front of its head. What a weird creature. Look at its mouth at the bottom. This, this, this is monstrosity. Oh god. Hallucinogena. This is like the Ovitation Worm, but if it had spikes and it was way weirder. We don't know much about the Ovitation Worm, but these guys were poisonous. While they may have adorable eyes, look at their arms and legs. This thing is terrifying. Imagine like 20 of them crawling on you. Nope. Second place goes to Dolacaris. It has more lenses than the Frankenprawn. Can't imagine why with its big two eyes. And its joints are all over the place. Some of its joints look human, others look like crab claws, but really weird. This thing doesn't know what it wants to be. Does it want to be a human? A morella, considering the spikes on it. Or a crustacean, I don't know. Giant extinct lobster. Look at this thing. Look at its fins. You don't even consider those fins. Look where its mouth is supposed to be. Look at that. Look at that. It looks like a bag. And look at its nose. Look at its nose. This thing clearly clears everyone on the weirdest creature ever. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you later. Okay, peace.